Today on our 2011 GMC Acadia, we will be testing the Pro Series Solo Cargo Carrier. That's part number PS1040100. Uh, its dimensions are 31 by 47. It has a max capacity of 400 pounds, and it's for two inch hitches only. So we can go ahead and begin by inserting our shank into our receiver. Right, we'll go ahead and line our pinholes up. All right, that looks pretty good. Then we'll take our included pin and clip. Once we get that through, we'll put a clip on and then we'll take a few measurements. All right, starting with our nearest point. Looks like it's gonna be right here on our shank to our bumper. That's right about three inches away from there to there. Overall, we've added about 39 and a half inches to our vehicle. And for our ground clearance back here, we're looking at about 18 and a half inches. All right, I'll go ahead and open up our rear hatch and we'll check our breakover point. That looks like it's gonna be right about 14 inches before our rear hatch breaks over our carrier. So just wanna be aware when we're stacking anything about that high. All right, one last thing I'd like to point out is you can see that our exhaust exits on our driver's side and our passenger side. And that's right about 13 inches away from our carrier. So just wanna be aware of that when we're carrying any heat sensitive materials. That's gonna complete our test fit of the Pro Series Solo Cargo Carrier, part number PS1040100 on our 2011 GMC Acadia. Let's see how that carrier did on our test course. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then on to our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or any even pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.